Yo, what's up? It's your girl Jazzy the Kid. It's your boy Hakeem. And you're listening to Too Much Talk. Yeah. What's, What's up, up y'all? It's your girl Jazzy the Kid. It's your boy Hakeem. And you're listening to Too, Too Much, Much Talk. Talk. Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all know what to do. Uh, do all the things like we always say, man. Like, subscribe, turn that the notification bell, bell on. on. Smash it. Smash, it Smash that notification bell. You name to that. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all make sure you guys uh, subscribe Make sure you guys share with your friends and family Make sure you guys comment specific things that you guys want us to talk about um, On the show um, And if you're listening Make sure you follow us on Spotify And all that good stuff all the things, all And the follow things. our social medias Them Collins, Hakeem and Jazzy on Facebook yep. Them Collins on uh, TikTok yep. I don't know This mix up Them Collins on Instagram Yeah them just, comments on it'll be in the bio, man. Just go there, click the just link. Just go there, click the link. Simple. Click, 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 click. Yeah, um, I'm feeling like I need a positive word today. Positive word. I need a positive word, Mr. Collins. Okay, okay. And well, I'm positively um, thirsty. Positively thirsty. Well, we're gonna take a <laughs> positivity pause real quick, and we're gonna give you a nice little positive word. Mm -hmm. It's a new segment that we're working on here. Shout out to Positivity Alkaline Water, mm -hmm. locally based in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, positive word. Positive word yeah. for the day is don't stress so much about the finished product. Mm, that's good. Enjoy that's the journey. Um, one thing Jazz will tell you is I love to drive. I love a nice little road trip. Man. You know what I'm saying? He'll drive to Jamaica I if would, he could. If I could, I would drive to Man. Jamaica. Yes. You're going to be driving by. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because you are so fixated on the destination, you missing all the beautiful places along the way. Mm. You missing the mountains. You missing the sky. You missing the, uh, the architecture. You missing the different types of animals. You know what I'm saying? The restaurants, the mm. good eats. Got really snapped. Not gonna lie, he went crazy, especially on Bucky's. Oh yeah, hey. <laughs> Bucky's. Hey, shout out Bucky's. Don't even bring that up. I can taste that. Hey, I can taste that little <laughs> pulled pork, big back barbecue sandwich right now in my mouth. <laughs> mouth watering. Lord have mercy. But yeah, just mm. take your time. If you're supposed to get there, you gonna get there. All right. Mm. And you got to pick up a whole lot of stuff along the way. You got to pick up inspiration, right, for your art, for your creativity. You got to you got to pick up uh, some people that are supposed to follow you, some people you're supposed to network with. Stop trying to rush because you're going to stress. You're going to rush yourself right into the grave because you're going to be having a stroke, heart attack. Stressing over stuff that Stressing. you can't even control. Exactly. You know what? That's good. I needed that. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank you for keeping it positive you. with me. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> what do I get? We'll talk about that later. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Lil Miss Wendy. Y'all see the red? She uh, she then got locked up. She back in the Yay, lock gang. Guys. You know what I'm saying? Nice little round of applause for that. I'm back into the lock gang. I hollered so much that I'm not going to get locks again. Baby, I lied. As soon as she come to mine, I said, you'll be back. But I didn't get traditional locks this time. I have micro locks, so I'm trying to see if I'm going to like this journey. I'm yeah. going to have to because I ain't coming these ones out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out, Bianca. Shout out, Bianca. Yeah. Naturally, you located in Snellville, Georgia. If yeah. you need to get your starter locks going, you need questions, mm -hmm. have questions, make sure you check her out out mm -hmm. absolutely we're gonna get into the topic the hot yeah. topic today Very hot. i don't yeah that's just mean like that's mm -hmm. just like that sound make it seem like your breath stink it I, might i had that chick-fil-a uh your breath don't stink baby okay so what, what you trying to do is like you trying to get into it with me on purpose <laughs> can we finish this episode <laughs> what you trying to do <laughs> can you cut it out i, don't, I might no, I'm gonna leave it in there. Oh, oh no, 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 not like that. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't. I was, <coughs> I, hey, unless you want it like that, I wasn't speaking like that. Delayed, delayed. Delay. <laughs> Woo, it's a great day. We will get into the hot topic of the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, kids, success. Ki kids, kids, career, careers, and covenant. And covenant. Uh, I said it wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's all good. You got to get them C's and them K's mm, in there. Key, you know? Kids, careers, and covenants. Yeah, a lot of uh, the questions that y'all been asking us on uh, social media is um, related around how do we navigate our careers 
while having kids mm-hmm. and being married and you know how do we yeah how do how do how do, how do we circulate through all three of those things how do we balance whatever? it all yeah how you balance it yeah great word um uh yeah like we started we kind of we started things together when we met in college mm-hmm. for those, those of you who are new and don't know yes we met in college in 2014 mm-hmm. i was a junior a sophomore he was a freshman and so on and so forth um and once we realized that we actually like some of the same stuff or majority of everything we kind of wanted the same career path that's kind of crazy just keeping just even thinking about it like, oh, yeah. and talking about yeah. it out loud like yo yeah. i really met somebody that want to do the same thing mm-hmm. as me kind of crazy i mean it's kind of hitting me a little different now that's years i'm like because you know you you really do have to slow down and just kind of take your time like you said yeah. earlier like yeah. you will not kind of pick you will not pick up stuff yeah. by just moving and just doing things going with the flow doing your everyday just yeah it's really hard to kind of be in the moment and uh Take your time and see what's going on. Oh yeah, you got to force like yourself. Processing for sure. things. Yeah, you you get sometimes you have to force yourself to slow down. Um, some people will say, "Oh, God, to slow you down." You know what I'm saying? But it's just like you have control uh, to do that yourself. Yeah. He gave you the power to do that too. Yeah, like, I, that, hey, there's nothing worse than being slowed down, right? And you don't want to be. That's more frustrating to me. Like I'd rather just slow myself down mm-hmm. rather than have something else slow me down. You and let me saying? ask you something. Do you think you were slowed down with your leg? I knew you was about to say that. Because that because you was gonna say it. I knew you was gonna say yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> um I don't think it was a it it was a, a slow down thing. Uh the moments that kinda came up after uh I tore my Achilles for the second time, y'all. Mm-hmm. Um and then right after I toured, I had to go on like five different trips out of town or whatever. So mm-hmm. navigating through the airport, taking my time and stuff. And, uh, you know, it was just a whole different experience this time around. But um, you was able to slow down, though, and kind of capture everything from each trip that you went oh, yeah. on right after. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. One thing specifically, we went to uh, uh, a film I was in, got accepted to the film festival out in uh, California. Hey, uh, shout Mad- out Miles. Shout out Miles Triplet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the boy doing his thing. SBS <laughs> or die. What? Um, sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, we went out there to Mammoth Lakes, California, um, which is like dead center in the middle of California. You know what I'm saying? What you doing? You checking me out? Uh, you that? So you looking me up and down over there? You have a problem today. I was just, I was just peeping. I was just, I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna call it out. And see it. I'm literally just looking at you. I'm just listening to you. Okay, okay. You, you must like how I'm looking at you. Yes, little Miss Wendy. <laughs> I don't like that other woman's name. <laughs> <laughs> what? What other woman? <laughs> call me Jasma. When, I'm saying, you know why I'm calling you Wendy? I know why you calling me Wendy. You uh, must want a Wendy's bad guy. Nah, I'm good. I'm staying away from that. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we get off track. <laughs> we was in Mammoth Lakes, um, California, which is like. A unreal place like if you ever go there if you ever go to california go to mammoth lakes right i even just me looking through the phone he was facetiming me i'm like yo they are off the grid like you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. it is really like a scene out of a movie like you know the the mountains had snow on them and it was the mm-hmm. middle of summer you know what i'm saying and everything is like cabin and lodges and stuff like that and it's just like man like yeah, I don't know, man. It was just, it was so beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And it just looked like the town had that cold filter on there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you see in certain movies, yeah, certain movies. Like if you see seen Ozark, that's exactly how it looked out there. You like, it was just, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyways, there's this. I don't know what the name of the mountains are out there, but I forgot. I feel like you told me, but you forgot. Yeah, I forgot. But the mountains were so freaking big, and we were right up. At, on the mountain right like not on top of it but we're at the the base of it or whatever but anyways long story short i feel like i would have been like the people that were walking around me if i didn't slow down you know what i'm saying um a lot of people were just kind of walking up to the mountain and just saying oh that's nice and walking and just away keep going. yeah <laughs> but me i was kind of forced to like stand there because i didn't want to walk too much or whatever on my on my foot and uh it just forced me to like sit down and just kind of just look and i started crying man i started i think i wrote a song out there on the mountain and stuff I, all types of stuff because i was just like bro like it's really just beautiful this is a masterpiece like, like if i always say if i was god i would not this world would look jacked up <laughs> that's why you ain't him <laughs> You're right right what uh, amongst a lot of other reasons but you know what i'm saying like this world would i would like what 
I wouldn't have even thought of putting mountains here in mm-hmm. the first place. You know, all different types of stuff. So, yeah. But how how do we get on that? Um, just slowing down. Um, but I I was I was talking about just slowing down because I didn't really. It's like I process. I realized it, but I didn't like think too deep into it. That yeah. I met somebody that really wants to ha- have the same career as me. It's mm-hmm. not as often. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. mean, people have some people that be like, oh, I want to be a lawyer too, and then there's lawyers that get married or whatever. But just to the ex- like the extent of how much we kind of like are alike was just crazy. Yeah. Um. And so, um, but we, once we realized we wanted to do the same thing, we just kind of acted on it. We, yeah. we didn't kind of, we acted on it. We came up with too much studios as our name. Yeah. It's number two, uh, cause it's two of us and we just really too much, especially together. Yeah. Um, we're too much individually and together. So yeah. it's just insane. Um, and then we just, we just knew one day we would have a production company and just have our own thing to produce. Yeah. period and yeah. so too much studios came about and we just started making too many videos yeah. <laughs> and just content Everything. together yeah yeah movies short films uh web series like all different types of stuff and um, this all started yeah in college yeah, in college uh, yeah yeah and it ain't really stopped <laughs> yeah. Even with the kids coming it, well, along yeah, yeah. it used to be too much entertainment uh, oh yeah we changed the little ending a couple yeah. times yeah, for it was sure week it was always too much but yeah. it was we got a lot of too much stuff coming. And that's yeah, all I'm yeah, going to say. I'm going to keep yeah, it there. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's us, y'all. And uh, we um, doing it together, like, man, it's so it was just it's just so dope to work with your partner, with your spouse, with the... Yeah. It's just a vibe. It's like, of course, the critics come or people try to compare you to. We've dealt with that so much, even up to this day, um, you know, People comparing us or saying who's better with what. And honestly, this is my answer to everybody. I have my crowd. He has his crowd. And we have a crowd together. That's three different crowds. Yep. Um, and is we're going to reach exactly who we're supposed to reach, walking in purpose. Yeah. Um, and we, yeah, we started it so young, y'all. And then the kids came along. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We never stopped with the kids either. We just yeah. worked throughout. Like, I mean, that's a short answer, of course, but yeah. we, it, it's like, <laughs> I think, I don't know with, with the kids specifically, like for me, it was two things that kind of stuck out to me. And, uh, one of them was jazz was like, no matter what happens, no matter what, uh, how many kids mm-hmm. we have or whatever, we cannot stop chasing our dreams. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm really big on that. Yeah. And so it's just like, okay, remember you said that no matter what. <laughs> Look at me. I'll be definitely having my time. Like, I'm just going to put it to the side. No matter what. You said no matter what. <laughs> I, 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 ain't, I ain't stopping no type of motion or anything like that. So, um, yeah. So that that was one thing. And then also my friends that were having kids super young. um, they had to do it by they, themselves, right? And so it's two of us. But imagine somebody that is young starting motherhood, mm-hmm. right? Because they're usually single mothers, mm-hmm. right? Um, and then also uh, you're young and then you're doing it by yourself. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then you're still chasing after your career. So what's what's my excuse? You know what I'm saying? I got help. You know? Right. And um it's just, you know what I'm saying? And then our moms having to do it too, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I don't think they necessarily chase their dreams, right? But they still got something done, whatever they put their mind to. Whatever they got it, was, it done. Yeah, whatever made sense to them, that's what they did. And what made sense to them was our their kids. Exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> make I mean, sure kids good. Because we can't, we can't even just look at it like that at that standpoint, though, because they still got something done. Like I said, yeah. it's what they were willing to do. It's what they believed in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So whether it's them going to, you know, be a, a, a nurse or a medical assistant or something like that, or they're going to massage school or whatever, you know, whatever it is, even if you're working your business, whatever it was, they were consistently doing a thing. Right. right? right. And so it might have not been the thing that they wanted to do, but they still did something. Right. right? They got something done. They woke up. And they did something every day or whatever to take care of us and take care of their business. Right. Absolutely. And we just made it our business to do the same. Right. Well, to do the same. But it's got to be the thing that ain't no we plan will, B. Yeah. Ain't no plan B. You know? Always been my my thing. Yeah. And coming up once I met him, it was the same for him. Yeah. 
Ain't no plan B. This ain't no plan. Ain't no plan B. Actually, we kind of, it's not our plan B, but we kind of just like, it, how do I say it? We just had acting on our mind. Like, it was just yeah. acting, like yeah. acting, actress, actor. That's it. Yeah. Like, movies, movies, movies. But God is expanding our territory so much, or our yeah. minds, our creativity. It's a new thing now. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not just acting. Um, and so... We're doing so much more than just that, but we making it show, making sure that we're doing it with our kids, and our kids see this every yeah. day. They go into the school talking about it to their teachers. I had um, our son, <laughs> our oldest son. He he was writing about us like his family at, at school, and then he wrote on the paper, "My mom is crazy. She records mm. me." <laughs> <laughs> He wrote, my mom, all right, now he wrote on there, he said, my mom is crazy. She records videos every day at home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she do crazy videos every day at home. Yeah. He's five, y'all, like, what? Yeah. Shady, but true. Yeah. Like, they know they're watching us still chase, chase I kind of hate the word, hate that phrase, I ain't gonna lie. Pursue. Pursue. Our dreams, our passions, the yeah. things that we desire right step, in front yeah, of them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Step out on, on faith um, to stick to something. And like we said, ain't no and not have a plan B. There are jobs that, you know, what I'm saying we probably done in between mm -hmm. time. You know, what I'm saying it's not like full social media. Social media then used to look like it, it is does now. Does today. And we've been doing it for so long, yeah. way before this. Yeah. So all that monetization and stuff really didn't come to like 2021. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Dang, like. Like ten years plus That's before what I'm you even got some type of monetization from it, right? Exactly, and so we were just doing it for for fun, you know what I'm saying? But we did see something coming from it, though. We I expected something from it because I'm like, well, what? If, but what though? The, you had you got to identify what you were actually expecting from it. So when I started social media in 2009, once again, like number one, I love entertainment. Period. I love entertaining people. I love just showing people my personality and who I am. That's why I picked up, got on the webcam every single day after school. Once I got a phone and was able to post on social media, I posted on every platform, Vine, every platform there was, I followed for the most part, except yeah. for MySpace and all, and Bling and all that. But, yeah. um, wow, well, Bling. Um, mm. <laughs> I was like seventh, eighth grade with that stuff. But, um, I did it initially to be entertaining I mean, because I enjoyed it. Secondly, I'm like, well, maybe somebody will see me on here. So that part, that's what that's what somebody I important to, get to right? It wasn't no monetization thing though. You wasn't trying. You weren't trying to money. No, I wasn't trying to get money. Yeah, from that's it. what I'm saying. I was saying I wanted to get recognized so I can get on TV. Exactly. So I never, <laughs> I never thought about the money aspect of it. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people think about the money aspect. I of did. It. I knew that. No, I didn't know how I was gonna get there, but I knew not. That's from, not your leading. That's not your leading factor. Not from though. social media, though. Not from social media. I knew yeah. I was going to be an actress and have a big fat mansion, fat mansion, and I knew I was going to be a millionaire and I was going to be able to take care of my family. I was oh, going to get my mom. I said this every day to her. Yeah, I'm going to have dogs and cats as kids. That's what I told her, mm -hmm. and I told her I was going to have. A, Get her that island that she wanted in a pool in the back of a big fat house that she wanted. And I said, I'm gonna have wings in my house. I described I was all this thinking about I was food. Kid. Not Dang, man. Y'all, <sighs> not chicken wings. God. I'm not talking about that. She, I'm talking uh, he hungry right now. No, that's her. She's talking, talking about, about wings. He called me Wendy. Now he's talking about wings. What the wings. What you gonna say next? Ice cream? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could go for a scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Drink that positivity. Water. That just took me a little sip, man. <laughs> you acting real thirsty. <laughs> Yo, you acting up today, huh? Oh yeah, about that time. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I so I'm like I knew when. I was going. I knew I was going to be an actress. That's why I yeah. said, and so I did think of those things. That's mm -hmm. why I was trying to tell you. So when I got with you, you're like, "Oh, I didn't think that deep to it about the money. I just know I love it." And I'm like, "I love it too. Don't make it seem like that. It's just I know it's going to produce some cash for yeah, me." Yeah. See, but see that, and I feel like I'm being a successful actress. Absolutely, yeah, but I, I think our artistry, like like we said before, we got two different crowds or whatever. So 
we do the same thing, right? But you are more personality than I am, right? Right? You know what I'm saying? I can cut now. I can cut up if well, I you want know, to. Everybody know, and you know they should know because it ain't just me. I'm just saying, but but <laughs> but primarily, like Jazz is the person you see her in public or whatever. She, hey friend, hey fam, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, oh girl, you cute. I like your nails too. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm like, hey, hey, can I take a picture with you? Okay, what's your name? Okay. I'm the listener. She mm. the talker. You know what I'm saying? Don't make it sound so no, bad. No, I'm just saying she's like, she would be what people call extroverted, I guess. Right? Oh, please. But I say extrovert. Okay. I say extrovert with an A. Extrovert. Like, she'll she'll go and do your part, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, to break you out your shell type stuff. Mm. What? I don't like that. Why? I don't like how you describe it. You're making me sound like an uh, over-the-top bad person. Bad. Who said bad? That's a, <laughs> a extrovert is not a uh that's not like a one of those words, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. It's just extra you just extra. People strive to be extra. I do I don't. I wait for the cue. Jazz is the cue. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we work. That's that's how it worked. That's it. <laughs> that's how we work. You know that's what but it wasn't like that when I met Jazz. See, Jazz. Hold on, what? What are you talking about? No, when I met Jazz, Jazz was seen as the introvert in my eyes because she, I'd never seen her talk. What? Yeah, every time I every saw. Every time we get on this here camera, on this mic, you saying something different that I, said, I ain't no, never no, no, heard no, no, you no, no, say. No. I said, I said, Jazz. I said it just seemed like you were so strong. It seemed like you ain't put up with no mess because you wasn't talking. You just looked like you was just like, so about your school work about, you know what I'm saying? Doing all that stuff. So basically you lied on a previous episode. What? You settled then. Cause once you find out, I want that strong, quiet woman. No, what? That's not settling. What are you talking about? You settled for me. You anyway. trying to put words in my mouth. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't say I was settling. <laughs> I said, and I say this all the time. I, I thought she was strong. That's it. I still think she's strong, right? But at that, her demeanor when I was just watching her, you know what I'm saying, in passing, she wasn't saying anything. She really wasn't talking like that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She was just doing her schoolwork or whatever or somebody would talk to her. She'd be like, huh? Okay. And then she put her head back down and, you know what I'm saying, doing her work. And I'm like, okay. So she seems mysterious to me. You got this girl with the bang over her eye not saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and you wanted to find out, and when you found out, I know your heart was broken. It wasn't broken. Why are you trying to break? Why are you trying to make my heart broke? Because you expected something from no, me I that I was not. No, I wasn't. I wanted to see what was behind that quietness, and I found out. And I'm like, oh, look at that. You found a real this me. Jazz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I introduced myself to Jasmine. See what I'm saying? So that that part or whatever. And I wasn't trying to get with her. I was just introducing myself. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was like at that point in time, I think I was a little bit more what they call extroverted. You seemed like an introvert to me. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Extra sting. All right. Let's mm -hmm. keep going here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's yeah. talk about how we and yeah, like kind of dig more into how we've incorporated this thing that we created so long ago. It's not that long ago, but it is a long time. It is about 10 years. 10, <sighs> ten years. 10 years. And in the midst of those 10 years, seven years ago, we had our first stink of butt. Yeah. And so. I don't think I was ever really. I was the only thing I was scared of was not getting enough sleep <laughs> to do the thing that we want to do. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. Like I, at that time, like I'm, all, you know, what I'm saying we're grown. I, I can wake up whenever I want to or whatever. I can do what I want. Mm -hmm. I can eat what I want. Like I can quit my job if I want to. You know what I'm saying? Just because I, I have to focus on me. Mm -hmm. That was about it. But I don't know, man. Like once once we started embracing family and expanding family like i just feel like we just kept on expanding you know what i'm saying like right. with every every child that we had our house got bigger and bigger that's kind of crazy you see what i'm saying but it's like you get in mode so when before we had elise um i was i was broke you know what i'm saying i, I ain't had no job i ain't had no car I, I was staying with my mom you know what i'm saying all of that different type of stuff like i literally had nothing so and i was pregnant i was, she was pregnant in yeah. school but i think i moved off campus yeah I took she moved, a semester you moved back off. with your mom 
And I moved my mom. Yep. And so, like, it was just a whole, whole bunch of stuff going on or whatever. But I just remember, like, I went in the back of uh, my mom's crib and I, I prayed and I said, you know, hey, God, like, I'm about to be a dad. And if I'm if I'm meant to be a dad, right, I need you to I need you to open everything up. Like, I, I need you to get me ready. Like, if I can't mm-hmm. get a house, a car or if I can't get a spot for, for me and my soon to be wife, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, my child and not be able to take care of them. I was never meant to be a dad, mm. you know what I'm saying? And so within six months, I got all of those things or whatever. And, and he had like two, three jobs. Yeah, too. I had, I had three, I got three <laughs> jobs before, yeah, before Elise came. So shout out to God. Shout out to our father. Our father. Mm-hmm. But um, <clears throat> with every child, it just got bigger and bigger. You know right. what I'm saying? So right. we got the one bedroom apartment. Um, and then I think we, we went back to her mom's house for a little bit or whatever. It was like probably like a couple months. Ago. That was when Elise was born. Yeah. 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 And then once Kai was coming, then we got a loft. We got three bedroom loft. And then, uh, um, kind of went crazy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then, then we moved out here to Georgia. And then, uh, once Chosen came, then we got our own house. So when we moved to Georgia, we all moved together. It was a me. big family. Yeah. Yep. Our, well, uh, Jazz mom, two sisters, brother, then us, yep. and then the kids. kids. And then when Chosen came, then we moved out. We, we, you know split up split the households up Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and then we got our own spot so everything has been an expansion so if we have another one maybe that mansion i know i thought you was gonna say that and it's gonna come without you know without the the i I don't know i'm just i'm looking at the equation like every time we have a child it's just like Mm, yeah so that's so that's so nice that you thought that but i'm talking i'll talk to god about it i'm talking yeah we want to do a lot of talking because Mm-hmm. Hey, listen, y'all. I just, I just want to beg the back, carve up my body a little bit, look real good, you well, know, I mean, and, and 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 wear it and enjoy it. You know, I me, mean? I wouldn't dare do all that and then, you know, get a little farty, another little farty. We got another. We actually got a little farty coming. It's, but it's that a little that, baby dog. Yeah, but that don't expand the house out. Like we want a bigger. House I don't think the like baby's going to determine that. I don't think a baby's going to determine that. I'm just saying three, three times. It has happened. So four times gotta gotta happen again. You know what? Let's do an adoption. Let's talk later. <laughs> My body, Lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. So when we get our first million, yeah. then we can talk. <laughs> yeah, that's not that come with the kid. Like, no, it no. It just helped me get in mode. I feel like I, I feel like it's just like a basically basically you want me to get pregnant so you can get in mode. I'm confused. I'm just saying the the right man, right? When you have children, it just unlocks something within you. You got to make some shake. The wrong man, they just gonna leave, right? Ooh. And I have not left yet. <laughs> yet? What do you mean yet? I have not. I'm saying just let the record show. I have not left. Oh, please. You want that mansion, don't you? You want that island, don't you? It does you want not, that, you want that not, pool, don't you? That is not what these guys' my kids. Are. I know that is, but they exactly. didn't tell me I had and to so, do that. And so he like, man, I'm not finna get you no seven bedroom and ain't seven people living up in that. Oh, okay. So we supposed to have seven people to get a seven bedroom? We can't just have extra bedrooms to play with. And that's not how I go. You got to take that <sighs> with your father. Please, y'all, disregard anything he's talking about. Seriously. <laughs> We tried to learn the balance with the three we have, y'all. That's what this episode is about. We're learning balance with the three that we have. It's a beautiful thing, though, to watch them just grow. Watch them watch us. Yeah. To be able to raise these people up the right way. I One thing I cannot stand is when the youth, children, babies, when they're like, their minds are tempered with or with when they're showed Shown the weakest stuff. I know you can't keep them from everything because they will get out in the world. They have to go out in the world and live. But I do not. I love. I would love for children to stay as innocent as possible as long as they can. And so to know that God, God blessed us to be able to have these children and be able to raise them up in the way they should go. Such a dope feeling. And I was always a person hollering. I ain't having no kids. I ain't having no kids. I have such a so a soft. Heart. like I'm so soft for kids now like not just my own but it just kids it's just like oh it just makes me like a ball of emotion no, no, like four of them, yeah. 
Oh, how can can you stop, babe? Hey, this is what happened with Chosen. No, I'm not you playing. did that. You did, she did that with Chosen. She did. I that wanted with another Chosen. baby, she but wanted, I just she, didn't. I like I love the idea of another baby, but I didn't really think no, I was just gonna do it. But she, I just was like, I want the baby. I want the baby. I want the baby. I want the baby. It. She not only loved the idea of another baby. She went. And, <laughs> she went and had one. Okay. I didn't try to, y'all. That was not planned. Hakeem, I did. I you know I tell it all. I was checking my tracker, y'all. Man, I didn't know it was day 10. I, I mean, I didn't look at my tracker like I was supposed to. Run I didn't know it was day 10. Back. And somehow, each time, with all of them, I was day 10. Day Ain't 10. that crazy? Day 10. Girl, track, girl, track. Your tra <laughs> use that app. Yep. See, and you're going <laughs> to tell the wrong one that, and they're going to use that app, and they're going to trap. Don't Ooh. use it for bad. <laughs> for good. Use only. it for uh, on a consensual basis. <laughs> I'm not telling them to use it for that. I'm saying so people can know, period. They're like, oh, like, thanks, Jazz. Now I got my babies. Like, oh, <laughs> Jasmine. Not y'all out here trapping for real. Man. Girl. Y'all, no. I, I I spoke him up for sure because I it's like I love the idea of yeah. another child. Yeah. But I didn't think I was really, we was going to actually have one. I just kept talking about it. But you can speak something. There's power in what you speak. And this man keeps speaking a fourth one. I didn't say that. We we didn't don't do that, Hakeem. Hey, I'm just tired of being a, a fat fat <sighs> son. I want to be. I want to have a nice oh, but, body. But when Jazz wants to have a baby, it's all good. But when I want to have one now, all of a sudden, like you I gotta, did not push uh, it, y'all. Y'all catching all the tea because he did not push this narrative. This is so new. Like we talked about this before. We already discussed this because, of course. Well, you got to consider your spouse. You got to consider your person. If they want to have a right. child, so you have Jazz to consider. Wanted, when Jasmine wanted another baby, what happened? You did not intentionally try to do that, Hakeem. You did not. <gasps> oh, we did not do don't, that. Don't make me get X-rated on Hakeem, here. But there's three times in which Mr. Collins didn't back out the driveway. Right, okay? but it wasn't on purpose to have a child. That was not our thought process. I know for a fact. I remember. Yeah, but we know what happens. Like It's like as soon as that happens, it's like, oh. Well, we, we just know the first two times, y'all. Yeah, we one thing about us, if it ain't too, too graphic, we're going to tell y'all. We tried to take plan B's. <laughs> God said no. That don't work. That don't work. Them two, them kids, took, my first two kids kicked them plan B's to the side. So what we did the third time, when it accidentally happened, mm -hmm. <laughs> we ain't even going to get one. We already, we just was like. No accident. <laughs> we know. We know what's about to happen, and so we yeah. waited it just to make sure, and and it was so. And I cried like a baby because it's like, oh, you know how some, you know, we like to play or talk stuff up, but we don't be really wanting some stuff like that. Like I didn't, I love the idea of another baby because I want to see what another baby would look like, whatever. But can we didn't plan for that. Um, you kind of like my mother says, you kind of. Are subconsciously planning for that when every you, time you yeah, mess every time you do that, yeah. So you, you do it, and then you're not wearing protection. Uh, everybody risking it every single everybody time. Everybody risking it. You never know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, only only a, a little bit need to get up in there. And you just need to stop speaking this because now you got people on the internet saying, <sighs> "Yes, Jazz, give us another niece or nephew, y'all. Is y'all gonna come help?" Even I if just they got to my come. third one Even. to daycare for the first time in five years. I've been being able to have some time. Now you finna try to, dang, what about my peace of mind? He can sit right here. No. He can sit right here. I'm not. What about my peace of mind? I'm like chilling right now. Okay. We vibing. Okay. I'm done talking about it. I'm done. Sorry like he upset y'all. I'm done talking about it. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Trap me. <laughs> You're going to give me what I want. Uh. <laughs> Girl, I'm like, Ooh, this can can't you... feel good. <laughs> I'm going to get off of this. Let's end the episode right now. No, no, um, no. We still got a little point, a couple little points. We've been in this, right there. We've been in this episode, y'all, because. You stay right there. We're not going nowhere, but somewhere I don't want to be. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. Man, uh, it's it's is trying to balance all of this. It yeah. can be, it will. Um, to be honest, for the people that's asking, because people's asking on social media, how do you like balance like the you, the you guys' careers, the kids, the mm -hmm. the marriage, everything? It it gets tough, especially when like um like 
like for an example, if you need help, we need help watching a ch- somebody watching a child or something like yeah. that. It gets tough when you can't have the like have someone sitting or being a sitter for the kids because one, we may be just trying to take that time and spend it together. Um, and if we don't have babysitters like that, you know, boom, that's already a problem. And then while trying to still work, we work together. We just work together. We're married, but we also work together as well. So it's like yeah. if we have to do this stuff together and we don't have the nobody watch the kids. It's like, okay, now we have to just make do with what we can. So we've experienced yeah. that a lot over the years. Um, just making do with what we can because we have these beautiful babies, but nobody like not I mean, that much support as much. We're figuring we, it out though. You know what I'm that's saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, learning the balance. Yeah, like, learning the balance. But you you do what you what you can do, right? And that's his favorite thing to say about like, jazz. Like you well, if we can't up. go on a date, let's figure it out. Let's go. Let's just Get have creative. A, let's like, turn on a movie yeah. and, and eat some some snacks or if I if I deck out the garage or whatever, I'm like we're gonna watch a movie on a projector and stuff mm-hmm. like that and blah blah blah. But nine times out of ten. You gonna fall asleep. So, <laughs> hey, I'm comfortable. We, date we, night they, over. Date night. Oh, game over. Game over. <laughs> but but we know the kids are secure. The kids are upstairs. Yeah. They sleep, and then we we just win the garage vibing or something like my, that. My my idea of a uh, a nice day is just steak tacos, booty naked in bed, watching Power. And that it don't get no better than that. I'm so scared, y'all. I'm just so scared. I'm just so scared. That's it. If you can't be booty naked in bed watching Power with your wife, who are you supposed to do it with? <laughs> now, now, that's a whole different. That's a whole different episode pod for a whole nother time. No, no, but yeah, but yeah, or what are steak tacos? Is like a good look. Steak tacos. Steak tacos. Man, nice little glass of Tay Tay. Taylor Port. Port, Make little teleport. Cut water with steak tacos. Nice little combo, by the way. Yeah. Watch a good film. I don't know. Nice just, flick. Maybe you know? an SVS film. I don't know. <laughs> just vibe it. That's we make it do with yeah. what we can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now we have this opened up time, y'all. Like I said, it's been a long time. And yeah. so we have these periods of time now. Okay, our kids are back in school, our oldest yeah. two. And uh our youngest, we decided to like let him go to daycare and yeah. you know. We got this time now. What are we gonna do with it? Like uh, this? Obviously talk more to you guys yeah be productive and and stick to the thing that we said we were going to do nothing nothing is going to get in between this this is ministry you know what i'm saying so there's going to be a way made out of no way Mm -hmm. and when you when you make that way or you find that way because it's already there for you Uh right that's good but when you find that path that little small opening or whatever that guy has for you and you get to explore it everything else seems to open up absolutely you know what i'm saying because this is just a, it says what straight is the way straight is the way but narrow is the ne- no narrow. straight is the gate narrow is the way narrow is the, the way, way straight is the gate one of them one of them you know what i'm saying <laughs> like the, the path what i'm saying is the path might be skinny right but it's a straight shot and so when it feels like the walls is closed in which or whatever, it has felt you, like a lot right, of time you feel claustrophobic you feel like you can't move or whatever just keep straight keep straight it's only one path or whatever and i feel like that's kind of our story um it's that we don't we only have one plan it's just it's, it's plan a that's it you see what i'm saying we want to make it wrong people are like well what if that don't work no people ask me just ask me i'm like let me tell you something yeah. it's gotta work it's gonna work gotta work it, it i there's no way i was a kid dreaming of this same thing or just like just having a strong feeling about the same thing yeah. like now, to the extent I don't know, however God choose to use us for it, you know. But yeah, it has to work. All right, so this 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 hop on the the covenant, okay? Right, the covenant, and those of y'all don't know what what we mean by covenant, we're talking about marriage, right? Covenant that we made with each other, our vows uh, between us and God, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so navigating <clears throat> that with children, marriage and kids, mm. what's that look like? Our marriage with kids? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Let me speak gen- I mean, I, you can speak genuine. Yes, speak from your experience. How has having kids affected your marriage? And affect means like good, bad, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, mm-hmm. you, whatever comes to mind. I will say for me, um, obviously, when you guys have children, well, because when we had children, we didn't have, we had so much free time, just 
to just do whatever. Literally just lay down on the couch. If I go to his mama house, we just lay up, just lay up and watch movies, chill all day. All day. I'm pregnant. I think I was pregnant, you know what I mean, at that time, but it was just us. No other responsibilities. Yeah. yeah. All day. I ain't, I wasn't working for the first three months, whatever. So we just we had a lot of time with each other that we did spend. I thank God for that anyways. Um but obviously when you have children or when we had our children, it's like it take that time away from you guys. And so but it, you put your focus on the thing that you guys created together. Yeah. And so obviously I, I look at it differently now that I did before. At first, I just was trying to like, yo, what's happening? You know what I mean? What's happening? We got some people here that's resp oh, I'm responsible for, but I got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Yeah. And woo, it's, this is different. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was a lot to process. Mm -hmm. Even still to this day, I think we all were all uh, learning and growing and evolving. Mm -hmm. And so for me, being married with you and then having our children, it was a lot to process at first. But I'm taking it day by day. I've taken it day by day. Um, but I do love the fact that um, if we have spats where we don't want to talk or we're just frustrated with each other and we just kind of want to, you know, we can't really have our space like that. If we with the kids, the kids will force us to speak. Oh, sure will. Oh, them kids will force y'all. We cannot. There's no way me and him could just sit here and pout and not talk to each other. And then our daughter talkative just come walk in the room. Dad, and something, something. Would did mommy do it? And I'd be like, yeah, I don't think so. I could be like, no, I didn't do it. And she'll be like, what about you, daddy, or something? Well, you guys or something or whatever. And it's just like, for me, it'll be like, yeah. get, get your act together. It like, is it lot. that deep? It's, bro, it's, like, first of all, raising kids is already exhausting. Oh, my god! But now, like, bro, to stay mad and to be mad about something and hold that energy, like, that takes so much. <laughs> bro, staying mad takes so much energy bro i think they say to take more muscles in your face to frown than to smile bro. like bro it is so hard to stay mad you know what i'm saying especially when you've got all this innocent love around you you know what i'm saying like they love oh, you. it's making me emotional they love you from the purest place like you can and make you slow your roll you know what i'm saying like because even even with our daughter you can if you yell at elise she will come back Five minutes later, you'll be like, dang. like you So know, forgiving. Yeah, especially if, like, especially if you, like, send her away and she doesn't argue back with you or whatever and she just understands and she'll go sit down. You'd be like, dang. I kind of went just, I kind of went just kind of crazy. Oh, I just, and I like, know oh, I do it. At, ten. Yeah. I, I know I ain't the only mom, but I just snap at they girls. Like, yeah. it's just, because it's like it's us all over again. <laughs> and so it's just making me emotional because, yeah. you know, like, I love my husband so much. And then, now I didn't created these little people. I never wanted kids, y'all. That's why I keep trying to push the. I never wanted kids, but God has shown me a different kind of love, like with these kids. Like I'm just experiencing something so dope. These are kids we made. My love for with him, and then our love shown with these kids, and these kids love us back so much, and they're so forgiving. And it's just like we could be literally so mad at each other. And our kids could just say something that could cause all of us to laugh or something that would cause us to have to speak. It just does yeah. not make sense. Even yeah. and Sometimes we would probably di disregard it or just still try to act like we mad. But that is so dope. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's a dope experience. It's good. It's bad. But it's all learning. And it's just like, hey, them babies did not ask to be here. They got to be taken care of. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm learning to just it's just a new thing. Something that I did not ever expect to do It's I think I think that's it's, that's a big struggle though for young parents though. Like you said, these these kids didn't ask to be here, right? Right. And a lot of times, uh, children are not playing, right? And we just having our fun, right? And then here comes this child, and there goes dad, or there go you know what I'm saying there goes dad. He off and doing whatever he doing. He not committing to to the woman no more or whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's not so fun no more. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Right. It's not it's not it's not fun like that no more. Um and um parenthood is not a, a one person job, but that's a getting off on tangent, getting on you know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother another story. Episode, yeah. yeah. But overall, we are kids. When you going to college or you losing your virginity in high school and you getting to college and you're exploring 
adulthood for the first time or whatever it's like this cold reset and you have to learn how to learn balance. on your own yeah like all your responsibilities oh my going God. to class all that stuff and never so even thought about it like that we kids maybe i'll stop beating myself up for some things oh well, yeah <laughs> i mean like i was like kid you're a child when you had a child <laughs> Uh, people, I people a child when I had a child though. I was like 22 you still a child though because you still got all these immature thoughts you still about yourself you still right. you know what I'm saying you still selfish you still like you, you weren't ready to be accountable for a a little person a little person especially if you never been accountable for anything if you ain't had to watch no kids I never you know, had to watch kids you know what I'm saying like, so that's what I'm like I'm cool <laughs> You had cats, but cats watch watch themselves. That's why you know I wanted them. You, you see what I'm saying? I wanted more. Exactly. <laughs> so it's it's just like you have this child while you're having a child. And so you're still trying to grow up. You're still trying to have your experiences and stuff at the same time as this new child. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Trying to have their experiences trying to make sure that they're not robbed of their childhood so that they can come up well or whatever at the same time you still trying to figure yourself out man it's crazy y'all both growing up we all growing up together we all growing up together so how about you how did how did i mean you kind of saying it but yeah what? like what? oh man i was always ready to have kids what are we talking about yeah the saying? thing the question you asked me about being married and oh, your experiences I'm, and being married uh, with me and then have we having kids like balancing it all loving that? loving kids is like loving god oh god that's why i'm over here crying oh yeah. stop it that's that's i feel like have, so sweet having innocent. kids is the definition of love that is when being present in your your children's life will literally teach you how to love. Oh, I'm in an emotional wreck all week. Right. Because you can't look. You can pick your wife, but you cannot pick your kids. You can't pick your kids. And 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 your kids are literally what you need to work on. Oh right. My gosh. So if I'm moving too fast and I'm Elise is my my kid of patience. I got to sit down <laughs> and I have to make sure that I am Paying attention. attention because she will go as long as you let her Ooh, go, God. giving her that undivided attention. And right? she's starting to notice, oh, pick yeah. up now that we know she chat a lot. Oh, yeah. So sometimes I'll tune out, but I have to like check myself. Like Jasmine, don't oh, tune out she'll on that She'll say girl. it now. She'll be like, okay, dad, and one more thing. And I'll be like, <gasps> no, but to me, she know I'll tune out. I'll be like, mm-hmm. And I'll be sure with her because yeah. I know if I keep saying, right, 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 she will not stop. So I have to like yeah. be sure sometimes. And she'll be like, and yeah, so, um, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't slow, want you to not. Down. I don't want you to like not be yourself. But baby, sometimes it be excessive. No, it's, <laughs> a, it's just like I want her to realize. Slow it down. Slow it down, because now you're gonna you're gonna end up saying some stuff that you just chat and just be yeah. Chatting. Now you snitching on yourself. <laughs> so now we losing tokens and we moving our color clip down. All of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like okay, don't snitch on yourself. Now I, some things you can mess up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, but. Yeah, kids just teach you, they teach you what you need to work on the most. And it is loving God. Their love is pure. Their love is innocent. Innocent. You can, like I said, you can yell at her and you can be beating yourself up about it. And she'll come around the corner with some grace and be like, hey, dad, you think maybe I can get a bag of candy? You know what I'm saying? And you just like, like, I just like literally yelled a lot at you. Yeah. Like, (laughs) you know, but they, they just come through and just. I would say just forgive you, but they were never mad. In the first place. Ooh. <laughs> they were never mad. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a and it's, I that's mean, it, God. The, the little emotion that they felt was like all of 10 seconds. Yeah. Maybe. You know? But I feel like as they get old, and it's so crazy. Hold on. Because as they get older, that like I feel like she's starting to be a little bit more emotional, though. Yeah. Like, I feel like. She will hold on a little bit longer now. Oh, like yeah. sometimes she'll pout, and she will, like the other day we were all playing the games together, mm-hmm. and she just she just went in her room, and I'm pretty sure she was like kind of pondering. Well, she was pouting. She was sent but away. She held on. She yeah. was sent away. That's why she went to her room. Okay. But then she came back. Okay. So she did come back, but uh, she she's a perfectionist she got to get it right you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying and so she beats herself up when she don't get it right mm-hmm. so she a stickler for that or whatever so i don't think it's necessarily that and you know kai kai cries every time you tell him to get off the game yeah. you know what i'm saying like even if you give him extra time you're like man i'm giving i'm trying to 
be a good dad. I'm trying to be a good mom. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying yeah. to give you extra time. Like, I'm right. still crying. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I don't think it's that. They're still working through their emotions. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, sometimes being obedient is hard. You know what I'm saying? Even so, for us adults. Exactly. And <clears throat> so, like, for them to have to get off the game or I can't paint my nails or whatever, like, they just, like, they get so frustrated. They start crying because, like, uh, I have to be obedient, but I don't want to. But they don't hold on to it. They don't hold on to it. And I've, I've, I've grown so much spiritually every child. Yeah. Spiritually, I've just looked at things so different. I'm like, yeah. What? Mm-hmm. Like I swear, the coldest thing that somebody—I don't know if it's my mom or you—but it's just like woke up in me. Like I think you said it. Like loving. It's like think of yourself as like like how God is with us. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah, my yeah, yeah. gosh! Like ah, yeah. uh, I wonder if I'm saying the same thing. Yeah, like think of how God is with us. Like. You, you finish yeah, what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, you so, know. Uh, yeah, like how I am with like Kai or being a parent down here. Like that's the same way it is with how, uh, how we how should God. be or how he is with yeah, us. With we us. should be the same with our children. Exactly. Yeah. Yo, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. That that's teaching me how to be a parent. Yeah. Like that's teaching me how to be like, yo, chill on them kids. Right. Like, well, oh, okay. So get them grace. Because when they, uh, if like Kai jumps on the bed or whatever, and then he like falls off. And I'm like, that's what you get. And then God what, wouldn't say yeah, that to yeah, me. Yeah, like what if God was like, you know what I'm saying? Like I tore my Achilles and he's like, that's what you get. I'm like, hey. Hey, that. Hey, what? What you mean? That's why I get what I do. That taught me how to be a parent. That's teaching me how to parent. That's, like that's, that revelation that that woke up. Yeah. Give them grace. Everyone grace, of course. Yeah. But as a parent, give them kids grace. And I, it will always click in my head is these people do not know nothing. Yeah. yeah. They come here and you yelling at them or you whooping them because... They didn't do something. You got to teach them. Yeah. Yeah. So that taught me how to be a parent. And I'm like, this is a lot. It's like so much. It's, you're growing and evolving. It's, yeah. It'd be a lot to be like, whoa. Yeah. It's a good thing. It's like, yeah. wow, I'm being taught a lot. I thought I would never be able to do this. Yeah. I didn't know how to babysit. Like, that yeah. one babysit nobody. Now I have to have a kid. Didn't yeah. know what to do with these kids. But I'm being taught. Yeah. I'm being taught. Yeah. But overall, I brought up the kids because, you know, kids teach you how to love. Like I said in the beginning, they teach you how to love. So when it comes to my marriage, you might get a little bit more grace because of my kids. Mm-hmm. And so you better thank them. I'm thanking a father. Been, okay, that's too. <laughs> the father thank- of them kids. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but you know what I'm saying? Like they 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 teach you the purest form of love. If you are present, if you are a present parent mm-hmm. and you are, you know what I'm saying? Like you'll look at your your baby mama different, you look at your wife different, you know what I'm saying? Your girlfriend different or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like especially y'all have that bond. These are your children, right? Mm-hmm. Uh but when it came to my marriage, like I I don't think of course they get in between it. And you, try, you know, you try and get your freak on or something like that. They be blocking. They, they might bro. knock on your door or something like that. But you know, that's that's so minuscule. Yeah, so tiny, in, in like. comparison to what they gave me. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they they might do that because they want to spend time with me. If they're knocking on that door, that means they want to spend time with mommy and daddy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? These people that you know, y'all, yeah, y'all got I came me. out of y'all. Y'all made me. I want to be by y'all. You know um, what I'm saying? Yeah. And so <laughs> it's like I you have to put those types of feelings to rest, you know what I'm saying? And, um, embrace it. I feel like the more you embrace that family aspect and everything like that, it gets better. And then once it is time for a date or something like that, like we, now we're able to do some date nights and stuff or we, you know, some day dates, and <laughs> day <now>. dates. <laughs> yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. Um, thank God. Elise sees it, you know what I'm saying? She's and like, she's like, Oh yeah, take, yeah. Take mommy on a date or whatever. She's like, like She looks so beautiful. Take her on up. Like, Oh, you know what I'm saying? So she's just <laughs> expecting that. So uh, it's like there's, there's, man, it's so many different sides to it. You know what I'm it's saying? It's making me an emotional wreck. So many different positive sides to be focused on the negative side of it. Absolutely. Thank you, know? you, God. Just don't be solely, y'all, y'all are parenting together. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who needs to hear this, but y'all should be parenting together mm-hmm. and you should be having fun doing it together. Absolutely. It should not, it, parenting is not a one person job right it it shouldn't be just me taking care of this child you know what i'm saying and then you're off doing whatever you're doing 
right and vice versa, vice versa it should not be like that right if we're able to do this together that is our time together and that's me i have to even realize that like because i've been trying to force because it's been so long what we really don't i could be like count on my black i could count on my one or two hands how many times we actually had a date like together it's like yeah. it's, it's, i feel like the dates were really really needed once we had kids and yeah. that's when we wasn't able to do it yeah. and i'm like we got to improvise all the time and i would just want to go out with you and you know i'll get mad at him because i'm like he don't feel the same way i do i'm like really pushing the whole my kids somebody told me that they just now getting to know their spouse after 20 some years i refuse to do that but why but i don't want to grow apart i'm saying i push it because i'm like i don't want to grow apart from you from us being busy we work together but it's about work we're no, not no, really no well see our work is different so you can't yeah i know i, can't, I, I cannot know. i cannot relate to everybody else that says that well, I, I i'm sorry we're only in today four of us actually just having this period of time that's what i'm right. saying so i'm still kind of so getting we, used I'm to saying this moment we work together right right so if we, whatever conversation we want to have we can have it right now that's you know true what I'm saying? that's true even if we were at the house we can still have it present some Absolutely. people are at a job where they're on a phone and then somebody else is like a teacher. So I can't talk to you until the end of the day anyways. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. That's true. That's what I'd be thinking of. I have the luxury of picking up my phone and FaceTime at any time I want to. I can run down the street if I need to. Or, right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I can go pick up Chosen right now if I want to. I'm not, you know. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Right? <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> so. Um, um, oh, yeah. So I've been, I was pushing that so hard. Oh, yeah. And so uh, I lost my train of thought, but. You're like sorry. you're just pushing the fact that I wanted to be on the day with him so bad that when we he'd be like let's we're we kicking it let's kick with the kids let's have family time and I'm just like huh like I've been trying to get a break from the kids for a second like yeah. I want to hang with you you might you you know you might you might you my dog this is grown up but I want to have grown up time like I want to go somewhere and we do something we're going to date or we go yeah. have fun together just us and then it's like dang Jasmine check yourself like what about your babies I don't nah, nah, don't get me wrong I love hanging with my babies I'm saying that I could definitely embrace it more i could have embraced it more like at the times where i kept just trying to push for a date and i and i, I thank god for you even taking those times to go to work or you going on the trips by yourself or doing the stuff that i was frustrated about because it caused me to spend more time with my children mm -hmm. just me like hanging with my kids and actually listening to them having a conversation with them being patient with them those pockets of times or when you went to work and I did find pockets where I wasn't frustrated and just like listen to them. Even just these past couple of days, I been intentional. I put my phone down and I'm like, how was your day at school? What did you eat? What did y'all talk about? Oh, really? That happened? Wow. We talked for like 30 minutes. Both me, and, me and the kids just like undivided. Yeah. I need it. I need these moments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. It's, it's, it's and I don't ever want my kids to feel like I'm not. I don't want to be around them or I'm not present and things like that. Because I'm, you know, I'm trying to push the. I'm still trying to stay stuck in old school days when me it was just me and you. Oh yeah, you know no obligations. Yeah, yeah, no no obligations, no bills, no. I you feel know like I still be, I was still stuck there. You know what I mean? I'm oh, I'm yeah. coming out of it, of course, but I was. That's why I kept pushing. We gotta hang yeah. out. We gotta hang out. I got people here now that didn't ask to be here. Yeah. Hang out with them. Get well, to know these guys. I was about to say, well, this is your life. You know yeah, what I'm saying? This like, is, these are my kids. Yeah. These are these are forever my kids now. Like yeah. this, these are my people. This this yeah. is my. You know what I mean? That other side of adulthood came up kind of suddenly. You know what I'm saying? Right. And if you don't have those conversations with yourself, you know what I'm saying, before it comes up, you don't know when you're going to have the conversation because now it's go time. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, ain't no. Yeah, these yeah. your kids forever. So I think I, I had a lot of conversations with myself. Mm. Way before the kids even got Because you here. knew that's what you wanted anyway Yeah, yeah, yeah I, right. wanted, I wanted a family young You know what I'm saying I wanted to be able to grow with my children mm. I wanted to be able to run with them And be aware enough oh. and uh, You know what I'm saying Like yeah. I And not have to raise kids Past 40 years old or whatever mm -hmm. Or 50 or whatever mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying That's just my personal preference You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. um, But yeah. And then even when, you know, they're coming and it wasn't a ideal situation or whatever or set up, just get in. You know what I'm saying? I had to talk to myself a lot. I had to pray a lot. You know, get in. Hey, come on, get in mode. Mm -hmm. You got a little person coming. You got, mm -hmm. you know, you, you about to be the head of the household. Mm -hmm. This is what you, you know, you got to you got to get in mode. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. it's it's a beautiful thing, though. Yeah. Like, it, it's very beautiful. Um, just watching them grow and then just us all together. Like, it's just. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't get to see that. And a lot of we come from single parent homes and it, we seeing something different that we didn't even see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. By just 
you know, thank you, God, for this. Like, I'm just grateful. It's a dope experience. It de- it does have challenges. Don't get us wrong. It's challenges. Um, but that's what everything. Yeah. It's what everything. And so to answer the question and all, you know, that's the answer to the question, all of that. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. we're work we're 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 learning every single day and we're learning the balance and it's fun. The process is fun overall. Yeah, just be just that be goes, there. That goes back to the very first the positivity in the moment. pause. Yeah, mm-hmm. like be in the moment. Don't rush it. These kids is growing so fast. These kids grow so fast. Like we got a seven year old. She's in second grade. Oh, she just got here. <laughs> She's in second grade. Three years. Three years. She's gonna be in middle school. Like that's a very short amount mm. of time. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And so, one note that a lot of the older couples that we see out here in Georgia, uh, every time they see us and the kids, like they love, they love them kids out here. I'm, Kai, Elise, Chosen, they love them. They paying for their meals and everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. but when they see them, they say, enjoy the moments because they go fast. And they ain't never lie. They ain't never lie. This girl is seven. This girl is seven. Chosen is like already walking, like, you know what Talking I'm saying? Talking like, almost two. He just, y'all know I just had him just for the had people him. that do follow us. Just like. a millisecond ago, yeah. And, uh, you know, like, just embrace it because also, those kids remember that too you know what i'm saying and absolutely so it's about them too that what i remember about you know what i'm saying my upbringing and my dad like i don't see i didn't see him embrace my mom at all you know what i'm saying i, I don't even see him in the same house <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> um I, I can probably recollect maybe two or three times from my childhood you know what i'm saying <laughs> and so it's the same thing with with the children you know absolutely. what i'm saying they're like oh you know, uh, Dad, you you know, you and Mommy got an office. Oh, you guys film here or whatever, blah, blah, blah. You guys make or, movies there. Yeah, you make <laughs> movies there. Like, oh, Dad, when's your movie coming out? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, all this That's stuff. so beautiful. It's beautiful to hear, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, being able to just have a movie night when they're not moving around so much, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And just, like, sitting there and we be We all like, just lay together. Yeah, just it's my crew. Or, like, this morning, Cho woke up. We was getting ready to take him to daycare and... He was just like he he know he's spoiled. He could just lay on he lay on daddy. Then he come lay on me. He just yeah. like kicking his legs up. He just uh, I'm just like oh you just think you all that yeah yeah you you got your mama and your daddy look I be hating on my kids yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah it's so beautiful I'm like dude this I love this for them I love uh, you this. know what and I, I not only for them I just love that for people period that can put that together. And choose that every single day because yeah, it is a choice. Yeah, everybody's got their own thing going on in their head individually. But if you can get somewhere and build a home, build it, and let the Lord build that house, mm-hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? And then let Him keep the house because you don't want to build a house in vain, right? Mm-hmm. You don't want to build build less, a house. They say less that less the less the Lord built that uh, less the Lord built the house. Those that labor labor in vain. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's just like don't stop don't build a house that you ain't supposed to be building. That goes back to the last episode, you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't have found jazz without God. I'll tell you that. That's period. Because I, I was finna go to school in Minnesota and everything. I wanted you know to go saying? to HBCU. Exactly. So and uh, and then and then before that, I wasn't even planning to go to college. I thought I was just gonna be famous. You Same. Know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you know, so it's just. <laughs> You know, like so many different things, but just because I was listening, you know what I'm saying, that, that came across this fire bitty right here. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> here you are. But We've been doing good for 20 minutes. 20 <laughs> minutes. That's all I can hold it for, man. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man. Men, I'm on y'all heels every episode. Y'all, just get ready. Every episode. He, he just did the serious face. He's not playing. Every, like, for real. Come on, man. One, listen, if you are married and you have a girlfriend that you're aspiring to marry, listen to her. Pause. That don't mean listen to all that mess, ladies. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Just listen. If it's a red flag showing that you're not supposed to be there, leave. Right. And but if you are building and you are supposed to be there with that woman, listen to what she is telling you right because you want you want a nice healthy household right and i tell jazz all the time i try i make it my point to listen so that i can implement at least one type of change each and every day to make her life easier right and because i expect the same thing from her right i'm not just speaking out the side of my neck but also men stop 
playing with these females. Period. That's it. <laughs> you having your fun right now, <clears throat> but what's going to happen is you are now her trauma, right? You are now the reason that she cannot love properly. You know what I'm saying? And so she's taking all that to the relationship that she's supposed to be in and you making that dude work that much harder, right? And a lot of people say, well, it's not my fault or whatever. You know what I'm saying? No, no it's just out of love and compassion for another house. You see what I'm saying? Just do that. If you don't have good intentions, you don't have no intentions of building a house, just leave. That's it. That's it. Just I mean, leave. I know it's not it's easier said than done, but it's not easy. It's not, uh, or or you just saying if you just don't plan to be there anyway. If you don't, don't plan to be there, time. you plan to play. You know what I'm saying? Even if she like, oh, I want to play with you. No, nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, I don't want a relationship right, right now. Because they'll tell you, hey, I'm trying to, I'm down for whatever, whatever. But no. I'm going to give you some grace. You know, I want to give you something else. I'm going <laughs> to give you some grace. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, man. Because it's just like, we are, we just keep rebuilding. New homes. Ba no, homes. bad houses. We yeah. building these houses out of, hey, did you not read the Big Bad Wolf? The brother blew the house down. You see what I'm saying? Like, and the big bad wolf is temptation. Like, he's just going to come and blow whatever house. Like, you just stop, y'all. Stop. You want to live in purpose. You want to get everything that you're supposed to have or whatever. Just stop. Everything that's for you. Man. Because it's going to come to your house. The house that the Lord made. You see what I'm saying? And it's going to be fire. It's going to be cold. Come on, cold man. and fire. It's going to be like everything. It's going to be everything, everything, everything. When I say house, I mean life, your life, mm -hmm. your life, your wholesome life, mm -hmm. right? You want to get everything that's for you, right? Everything. It ain't nothing moving. I'm talking to fellas because God going to talk to y'all, but y'all ain't listening. That's it. I just felt the need to say that. Well, I hope that it helps helpful for somebody. And I, I hope, hope so too, man. I hope that y'all, yeah, I hope someone hears that and it was very helpful mm -hmm. for somebody. Um, but yeah, y'all, that's that wraps up this episode. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You have anything else to say? <laughs> I think I said everything I wanted I think, to say. I think, yeah, he about said everything, y'all. Make yeah. sure, once again, you guys subscribe or if yeah. you're watching on YouTube, subscribe, like, and comment anything mm -hmm. that you guys want us to talk about, even elaborate uh, or just talk comment on something that we talked about today. If you're on Spotify, yeah. please follow us um, and share it with your friends and family and uh, follow all of our social medias, uh, them Collins and Hakeem and Jazzy and so on and so forth. We love y'all. Love y'all. Thank y'all. We're going to catch y'all on the next episode. Peace. Hey yo, what's up? It's your girl Jazzy the Kid. It's your boy Hakeem. And you're listening to Too Much Talk. Yeah.